How old does Alan Gray look to you? 65? 70? He's 81. In his own head though, he's still 13. Oh, Alan Gray nomads, can't you see I'm using the road? When Terrain Tamer organised a couple of these grey nomads to learn about trip preparation, Alan is less than impressed. Oh, they're over the hill. So now we've got a couple of old blokes we've got to keep an eye on in case they're dying of heart attack. We'll need full-time defibrillation equipment. We'll need nurses on hand. Who knows? Will Alan learn to be patient? Or will he come out of this looking like the grumpy old man? Yeah, well, you know what old blokes are like. They want to chew your ear off, tell me stories from way back. Oh, I don't have time for that sort of thing, you know? Bit of plane, it? Yeah, it's got a bit of plane at their ass, so I think we'll have to drop it, um, yeah. replace the bearings. Mm. Roughly what time is it? Oh, it's about ten past eight. I don't know where Alan is, he's running a bit late, isn't he? I wonder what sort of an excuse he's got this time. Yeah, that should be safe up there yeah. now, mate. And um, so we'll drop all the uh, this hub off. Yeah. Hey, what's going on here? Sorry, I'm late, guys. <laughs> what's going on there? Oh, great. <laughs> I don't, you know, you've got to watch where I'm running, you know, sometimes the traffic holds me up a bit. What, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, the bearings are shot. Oh, I don't believe it. What happened? How'd you find that? Well, if you go and have a look at the other side, have a feel of that. Yeah. It's, it's about in the same condition. All right, I'll go and have a feel of the other side. I'm going to straighten it up a bit here. You better straighten yourself up a bit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's the, other, the other side was the same. Yeah. All yeah. right. So what are we going to do? Oh well, we're going to drop all, drop this out. Oh, well, let's not talk about it. What about doing it? Hubs off, circle it out. <laughs> all right. I'll go and get decent. All right. That'll take a while. Yeah, it does take a while to be decent, but don't you be cheeky. Or I'll give you some work today. <laughs> Ray and Ash continue with taking the wheel apart. This means dismantling the freewheeling hub. It's very important this is in the unlocked position, whether it's pulled apart or put back together. So, you done yet? You've oh. got two bolts out. Yeah. We've definitely got to replace the bearings. And I want to change the CV joints as well. Right. You do, Just okay. in terms, yeah, so right drag right. that out, CV joint out. Good to see you dressed. <laughs> That's right. Some days it's good to see me. <laughs> The dust shield comes off, then it's time to hit the spindle off. Yeah, yeah. This shouldn't take too much force. Here we go. A couple of taps should be enough to make it come away. Right, Mind your fingers. You can't do this with electric assist steering. Don't ever do that with electric assist steering. Otherwise the computer may forget what's straight ahead and lock the steering. There we go. What, what are you doing, Gramps? Just waiting for the retirement. Yeah, they're massive big discs, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Ventilated and beautiful. Because the grease in the disc housing is not compatible with modern grease, it's essential that this is cleaned out thoroughly. The outer bearing cups are hit into position, and then the axle housing is cleaned out. Always be careful of sharp edges inside the housing. Now we're gonna knock that CV joint off and have fun doing it. A hidden steel circlip has to be sheared to separate the inner and outer axle. As it turns out, the CV joint didn't budge. So we, what we're going to do first, what do you reckon we do first? Well, I've got a brand new uh, axle well, and... Uh, okay, you get stuck into that. While we've got a new one of those, we tried to get this... Uh, we're going to put CV joints in, uh, but while we're hammering and banging and crashing, sometimes they're very difficult to get apart. So in this case, it's easier for us to put an axle in it. So while he's doing that, do you want to go ahead with this hub business? Yeah. How much grease are we going to put in the hub, do you reckon? Oh, a handful or more? Yeah, well, what I do, I put it in level with the bearing shell, with the bearing cups. Now this is high temperature grease, disc brake grease they used to call it, it's high temperature. The stuff we pulled out of it I reckon I've got out of the farmer's shed. It's the old yellow grease that some of you guys would remember, it's almost like water pump grease. Ray unwraps the new CV and axle assembly, while Ash starts to grease the new bearings. So he's going he's to keep forcing it through that bearing until it comes out this side so we know it's gone right through. Not just rub grease around, it's a waste of time and it'll actually do it again and by that time it's solid, full of grease, ready to go. The axle and everything looks to be exactly the same length so I think we're ready to go. 
All right, well, here's some grease in the steering, uh, in the hub there. Well, I reckon that's heaps, Al. That looks, looks good, yeah, blind man would be glad to see it. You are right there, so while you get your greasy hands there, you can grab that thing there and offer it up there. That's a good word, isn't it? you sort of got to push it down, relying on the seal too much, actually, but who cares? So we have wheel bearing kits and we've got steering knuckle kits and real good gasket stuff. Real, we paid three times as much for gasket material as anybody else. In this case, we've got, we've got down from the store a, a complete kit, a steering knuckle, just to show you steering knuckles and wheel bearings. If you're only doing wheel bearings, we just buy a wheel bearing kit. OK, we're going to put that in there. Once the last components have been installed in the disc assembly, it's time to grease up the new spindle. That looks pretty good, we've got to get a gasket to suit that. Gaskets are used to fill the space between two surfaces. They are made out of materials that are yielding, so that they can deform and tightly fit the space it's designed for. That'll do. It's nearly out in the footpath on the other side. Yeah, put it on the back way so as the caliper goes to the back. They work better that way. And put it on the other way, I think. Is that, is, is, it, is that the way it goes? Doesn't it turn over this way? Yeah, whack her up hard. What's older, kiddo? It doesn't take long to wash a couple of nuts. Squirrels are doing them every night of the week. Yes. I beg your pardon? Lucky my hearing's not good or you'd be on <laughs> short rations the rest of the week. The adjust nut is one of the last things to go on. This should be tightened, but not all the way. If you want to take it up real tight, that would jam probably. Yeah. And I'll just back it back, just that little touch. Okay, so one more lock nut I put on, turn the tabs over, furl hubs on, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Now the 79 Series Land Cruiser is one step closer to being trip ready. Terrain Tamer, parts that will get you home.